If you were faced with someone who was badly burned, would you know what to do? That looks good. As a doctor working in emergency medicine, I want to share some simple techniques that could help you save a life. Burns and scalds are very common, incredibly painful, and if severe, can be fatal. The heat that causes burns comes in many forms, from scalding steam, to open flames, to hot boiling oil. But the good news is that for first aid, the treatment for most burns and scalds is essentially the same. So I've come to the commercial kitchens of a hotel in Dundee to show the staff and you what to do. First, we need a volunteer. Can I get you to go over to my mate over there, Alistair, and he's going to give you a pretend burn. It won't hurt, I promise. Who's had burns? Everybody who works in our kitchen is on a bottom. A bit of a badge of honour. <laughs> yes, we're laughing and joking about them, but for me, as an A&E doctor, it's actually one of the most squeamish things that I have to deal with. And it's because you just know how painful they are. But they also can be quite dangerous if you don't treat them properly. Alistair, how are you doing? I think we're ready. Yeah, cool. OK, brilliant. The first thing to do is get the person to a safe place and then remove any jewellery, watch or clothing from the affected area, unless it's sticking to the skin. The next thing that we need to do is to run this under a tap. Cold water coming now. Cooling the burn will reduce pain, swelling and the risk of scarring. So the faster and longer a burn is cooled, the better. Keep it going for at least 10 minutes. You don't want to use ice on there because the ice could cause further damage, it could cause an ice burn, it'd be much more painful. There are plenty of myths surrounding what you should use to treat a burn. Things like yoghurt, butter, oil and cream will do nothing for a burn and toothpaste is abrasive and will only make matters worse. So that's your arm having been run under a tap for about 20 minutes. So going to turn it off. Once the skin's cooled though, there is one thing you could reach for in the kitchen to help you. Cling film. And I would just lay it over the top like that, all right? Nice and loose. I'm not going to wrap it around like a sausage. So it's just literally just laying it on top. Cling film is ideal as it will keep the injury clean and stop it drying out. If the size of the burn is smaller than the palm of the hand of the patient, and it's quite superficial, some redness on the skin, then that's something you can treat at home with first aid. If it's bigger than the palm of the hand, you need to take him to hospital. If you come across a severe burn, just remember, stay calm and move the person to a place that's safe. Call the burn as quickly as possible with cold water for at least 10 minutes and then loosely cover the burn with cling film or a clean plastic bag. But if you have any doubts whatsoever, just call 999.